I'm really, really looking forward to getting up to Amasya today. Amasya, the coldest place in Armenia. The last time I really spent any time there was a good 10, 11, 12 years ago, and it wasn't a very nice place. I was working on refugee issues, and it was just a mess, basically. So I'm really hoping today that we'll be able to see some positive change that has happened during the last 10 years. We're going to be visiting a robotics lab, for example, to see what the young kids of Amasya are doing with the help of World Vision. Join me. room for improvement but not that good to see you nice good meeting see you. you okay you know what the last time i was in the center of amasya like this was mm -hmm. maybe 2001 two three or something like that when i was working with the uh -huh. refugee situation up here and i have to say it's really improved And it's then, looking more like a city now, yeah, little yeah, town, really. <laughs> not a village. Re it's not looking like a, a ruin, basically. I uh -huh. mean, there were so many abandoned buildings and so many buildings with no windows back then. Much better. Now and we have even design on our library wall <laughs> and yeah. around the windows. Okay. So there's the public library. Of okay, Amasia. and you're, you're involved in that. World yep. Vision is involved in that. Yeah, absolutely. We're wor working with the community. Uh, the local administration, they gave us two rooms for free okay. to use and uh, we established there uh, two clubs. One for Impact and Sky, the young leaders and for different uh, ages of kids. And the other is Robotics, which is the Lego Lab. Lego lab. <laughs> What's the what's the World Vision mission here? What, what, why would you open? Why would World Vision open a place like this? Amasya is one of the coldest places in Armenia. The coldest. The, if not the coldest place in Armenia. And uh, World Vision, we're spreading uh, everywhere. We're going everywhere, mostly due to the places where nobody else goes, to give people the chance to develop. Because everywhere there is a potential. There are everywhere gifted kids, talented kids, and everybody should have a chance to develop their skills and knowledge. Mm. So that's why we came to Amasya. That is first. And second, this is the uh, time of IT and development, and Armenia is progressing in that. So this was a chance for us and for the kids to learn something new and to partner with others, like Tumo Center to, to work on IT programming robots. How many places like this around the country does World Vision have? 14. Four, 40 of these? 14, 14. 14, 14. 14. Why not 4-0? <laughs> no, we're I'm just growing, kidding. We're no, four, 14, 14 of these spread around uh -huh. the country. Yes. If each of them has 26 kids, that's 260, that's 300 and something children yeah. that are positively affected by things like this. I happen to know that there's somewhere uh -huh. between three and 4,000 coders, uh -huh. coding specialists, that are yeah. needed in Armenia today. Yes. Can't find enough people. Yes. Gyumri in particular is a, is a problem, uh -huh. and even Yerevan is, is, is a problem. Um, uh, is the aim of this to prepare them to go into higher education, directly into a job? Does robots lead to coding somehow, or is robots a job in by itself? Or 
they're, they're uh, becoming more competitive. The more you know, the more competitive you are. So uh, we uh, we prepare them not only for programming but also for robotics, which is not everybody is doing that. Like you said, there is a big demand for IT specialists and coding uh, coders, <laughs> but. Uh, if they do it together with robots, so it will be double impact. Interesting. What potential do you see in these students? What practical applications are there for this in the future? Yes, <laughs> developing these young minds to have brilliant jobs in the IT industry. And I, and I know there are IT companies in Gimli, for example, that really, really want to have these young minds trained as uh, robotics and encoders, for example. That's a real need in this IT boom that's going on in Armenia. So this is an important uh, step that 14 of these centers in little places all around the country are introducing, I don't want to say kids, young adults like these, uh, to, to this type of education. It's, it's incredible. And I'm really impressed to see the, the two girls here as well. But I understand, generally in the IT industry in Armenia, that we have a much better uh, gender balance than in the IT industry internationally. There's like 45, 40 or 45 percent women in the IT industry in Armenia across mm. the country. So, so that's a very promising thing for the future of this, of this country. The Robotics Lab in Amasya, sponsored by World Vision, organized, sponsored, whatever you want to call it, they're doing a great job. And you know what really inspires me is when you meet a room full of kids that are just plain, raw talent and enthusiastic. I mean, Carlin, the kid with the glasses in the room there, and, and Mercedes, the, the girl with the, with the long braids. You know what, I'd really love to follow those two young adults for the next few years and see where they end up because they're just showing such enthusiasm and they have such great promise. So if you're up in this neck of the woods, up in Amasya in northern Shirok, be sure to stop by and see what amazing things these kids are doing.